हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिवलॉजी द स्टडी ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड फॉर स्टेयर केस एज वी नो दैट स्टेयर्स आर इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ एनी बिल्डिंग व्हिच एनेबल्स अस टू मूव और रीच बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट एलिवेशन लेवल्स देयरफॉर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आर्किटेक्ट्स एंड सिविल इंजीनियर्स टू केयरफुली डिजाइन द स्टेयर्स कीपिंग इन माइंड द स्टैंडर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर स्टेयर केस and comfort of the users so in this video we will learn that how much space should be allocated for staircase by considering the standard requirements for a good staircase in this video particularly we will calculate the space required for u shaped stair with two landings guys i have already made a number of videos on stairs in which we have discussed the different technical terms used in staircase you must watch that video to clear your concepts you can simply click the i button to watch that video or you can find the link of videos given in the description related to staircase must watch that videos to clear your concepts so before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates so let's get started first of all we should know that what are the requirements for good stairs here are few points which should be in your mind before designing the staircase first of all the pitch or slope for staircase should be between 25 to 40 degrees here you can see this is called as pitch or angle it should be between 25 to 40 degrees the second point is width of stairs should be 3 feet or 85 cm minimum and for number of steps maximum number of steps in a single flight should not be more than 15 now what is flight as i have already told you that there are few technical terms which are commonly used for staircase and the link is given in the description must watch that video before this topic if you don't know about these technical terms for now i am going to tell you what is flight flight is a number of steps in a single row as you can see over here there are three number of flights as you can see over here this is flight number 1 this is flight number 2 and then there is flight number 3 okay and there are two number of landings 1 this portion of stair is called as landing okay the flat portion between two series of steps is called as landing and this is number 2 so in this staircase there are three number of flights and two number of landings okay and it tells us that it should not be more than 15 in a single flight this number of steps should be less than 15 should not be more than 15 okay a minimum number of steps in a single flight should not be less than 3 okay minimum number of steps in a flight and this is the shortest flight and number of steps should be minimum 3 okay minimum 3 steps in a single flight and maximum 15 steps in a single flight these are the basic standard requirements for good stair okay height of the riser should not be more than 20 cm or 8 inches and width of the tread should be between 9 to 12 inches this vertical portion of a step okay this vertical portion of a step is called as riser and horizontal portion of a step is called as tread okay and width of landing should not be less than the width of the stairs as i have already told you that there are in this case two number of landings this is number 1 and this is number 2 and its width should be equal to the width of the staircase so these are the basic requirements for good stairs which should be in your mind before designing or calculating the space for any staircase okay so let's proceed so we are discussing the u shaped staircase with two landing this is how it will look like this is the plane of the staircase and this is section or elevation of u shape staircase with two landings okay as i have already told you that there are three number of 
flights this is flight number 1 this is flight number 2 and then there is flight number 3 and this is landing number 1 and 2 2 number of landings and 3 number of flights okay so now let's proceed towards the calculation first of all as you can see over here this is the section of a staircase let's suppose this is ground level and this is first floor level okay as you are trying to reach from ground level to first floor and the height between ground floor and first floor is 12 feet let's suppose the height of first landing is 5 feet and the height of second landing is 2 feet okay the distance between first and second landing this is the landing portion of the staircase this is landing and this is also called as landing as we have already uh, discussed on the previous slide that is there are two number of landings and three number of flights okay this is landing number 1 and this is landing number 2 and this height is 2 feet and the remaining height will be 5 feet you can change these dimensions as per your requirements okay as of now we are discussing the space requirement okay once you have learned that how can you calculate the number of stairs number of treads number of risers and the space requirement you can adjust it accordingly as per your space or you can uh, as per your site requirements okay so as per standards we are assuming that riser is 6 inches or 0.5 feet and tread is 12 inches or 1 feet as i have already told you riser is the vertical portion of the step this is riser and this horizontal portion of the step is called as tread okay now to calculate the number of risers this is riser 1 2 3 these vertical portions of the step is called riser so to calculate the number of risers we will use this formula that is rise divided by riser height now what is rise rise is actually the vertical height this is rise okay this is called as rise so by putting the values the height of rise is 5 and the riser height is 0.5 okay we will get the number of risers equal to 10 now we are discussing the first flight this is flight number 1 okay we are calculating for flight number 1 in flight number 1 there are 10 number of risers if we assume the riser height is 6 inches okay now to calculate the number of treads as i have told you this is horizontal portion of the step is called as tread now to calculate the number of treads we will use formula number of risers minus 1 so number of risers as we have already calculated is 10 10 minus 1 will be equal to 9 so in first flight there will be 10 number of risers and 9 number of treads as you can see over here this tread is not being calculated as this is the part of the landing okay this part is considered as the portion of the landing okay so in first flight there are 10 number of risers and 9 number of treads and as i have already told you this vertical height is called a rise and the horizontal portion is called as run total rise and total run how can you calculate the distance how much is this distance okay as you have already calculated the number of treads as you can see over here run is equal to number of treads and width of a tread as you can see over here width of a tread is 1 feet and total number of treads are 9 so by multiplying 9 times 1 we will get 9 feet so the run will be or you can say the horizontal length of the flight will be equal to 9 feet okay this will be equal to 9 feet and rise will be equal to as i have we have already assumed the height is 5 feet or you can simply use this formula that is number of risers multiply by the height of each riser which is 0.5 or 6 inches as we have already assumed over here we will get 5 feet 
so that's how you can calculate the run and rise for a single flight from here you can also calculate the pitch of the flight as we have already discussed that pitch or angle of the staircase should be between 25 degree to 45 degrees as slope or pitch is equal to rise divided by rise divided by run okay yeah it's mean that vertical distance divided by horizontal distance if this slope exceeds you will not consider this slope or you will not consider this design you will have to uh, minimize the height of riser or to increase the number of treads to be within standard specifications okay so that's how you can calculate the number of risers number of treads and total run and total rise now let's proceed towards the second step or you can say the and now we are talking about this portion okay we are talking about this second flight this is second flight okay so again to calculate the number of risers we will use the same formula that is rise divided by riser height as the rise is 2 ft over here for second flight the rise is 2 ft and riser height is 0.5 okay we will get the number of prizes which is equal to 4 and similarly to calculate the number of treads again we will use the same formula number of prizes minus 1 we will get the number of treads which is equal to 3 again this tread height will not be considered as this is the part of the landing okay so treads are always one less than number of prizes now coming towards the last flight this is flight number 3 again this is same as that of this flight so same calculations will be obtained uh, tread and risers are already assumed to calculate the number of risers we will use this formula and the risers num to calculate the number of risers we know that rise is 5 ft as you can see over here this is the rise and this is riser height okay we will get 10 number of risers similarly number of treads are always one less than number of risers we will get 9 so for flight number 1 and flight number 2 the number of risers and number of treads are same as the vertical distance is same as you can see over here okay now the question was the space requirement for a staircase okay the staircase means the space allocated for stairs in every or in any building okay so here is the elevation or section and this is the plane this is how u shaped staircase look like in a plane okay we have already calculated in first flight the treads and risers were 9 and 10 9 number of treads and 10 number of risers similarly uh, and uh, you can see over here so this space is already calculated 9 ft now we are calculating the space required for a staircase in a building okay so this space is 9 ft as we have already calculated that the there are nine number of treads and the width of each tread is 1 ft so 9 times 1 will be equal to 9 ft so this length is 9 ft okay and as you can see over here in the plane as well this space will be equal to 9 ft and the width of the staircase is 3 ft as per standard requirements as we have already discussed in the start of this video that the width of the stair should be 3 ft so this 3 ft will be added and this is the total space which should be allocated for staircase and this extra space is left to lay the foundation for staircase and it is also equal to 3 ft so the horizontal distance required for this stair is 3 ft plus 9 ft plus 3 ft which will be equal to 15 ft now to go in vertical or you can say in y dimension as the width of the stair is 3 ft okay and for second flight we have already calculated the number of treads are 3 as you can see over here 1 2 and 3 and the width of each tread is 1 ft 
so this distance will also be equal to 3 feet and again the width of stair is 3 feet so this dimension in y direction will be equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 which is equal to 9 feet so the total space required for staircase will be 15 feet by 9 feet so guys i have tried my level best to simplify this question as much as possible to clarify your concepts so guys that's all for today for civil engineering related topics you are requested to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates